On the left we have an ordinary glass vase, while on the right we have a gilded one. Join me, so you can see how I have transformed an ordinary 4 euro or 480 dollars vase into something special. I have used the so-called gilding technique, where golden leaves are used to cover an object and achieve an amazing effect. We start off with a very simple glass vase, bought in a local supermarket for just 4 euros. Honestly, I liked the shape of it and thought it might be an interesting addition to the current furniture layout in the apartment. If you decide to follow along, you can pick up any vase of any shape that you already have around the house or you can find at affordable price. I had to figure out some kind of an improvised stand in order to suspend the vase in a way it does not touch the surface of the table so I can apply the glue. For this I'm using a cell phone stand that I'm also covering with some tape so it does not get all glued up. We need some gilding glue. The instructions of the glue I have purchased says I need to add water to it in the 50-50 ratio. Of course, you need to check the instructions on your bottle. What I can add is that I have purchased a bottle of this glue for 3.8 euros or 4.6 dollars and probably used less than 60-70 cents for this project. We start applying the glue to the vase. Since it is made of glass, it will all look smudged at the beginning. I assume because it is not sticking to glass, as it would to paper or wood. This is why we need to do several coatings of the vase and make sure we have covered every millimeter of the surface, otherwise the golden leaves will not stick to it. After several coatings, you can see the glue being evenly distributed over the glass surface. I will be using the imitation gold leaves that are exceptionally thin and need to be gently placed over the vase. Everywhere there is glue. So this is exactly what I'm doing, trying to cover the entire surface with these leaves. It does not matter if leaves are overlapping, the important thing is to cover every millimeter of the vase with this thin foil. The excess foil will be removed later on. As mentioned, I am using the imitation gold leaves and the main reason is the cost. 100 of these leaves cost around 2.5 euros, while the real gold leaves cost around 1 euro piece. The process is the same, but the cost is much higher if you decide to go with the real gold. After we are done covering the base, we need to gently take it off the improvised stand. I'm using this opportunity to check and cover any surface that has not been covered with the foil. To remove the excess foil, I'm using specialized brushes that are actually made of rabbit fur. This fur should be gentle enough and this is the reason why it is being used for removing the excess foil. Interestingly, the set of these brushes can be found on Chinese websites for around 2.7 euros or 3.3 dollars. Take a large brush and start peeling away the excess foil.
after some time, our vase is ready. But we are not done yet. We also need to protect the surface with some kind of a clear lacquer. I'm using a spray lacquer for cars, one I could easily find on the internet. Since we have used a very thin gold foil that can get scratched easily and the glue that actually dissolves in water, this step is very important if we want the coating to last long time and make the vase waterproof. That is it. I'm really happy how it turned out. What do you think? Taking into account the glue, imitation gold leaves and spray lacquer, I believe to have spent less than 2 euros or less than 2.5 dollars on this project. Now, coming up to freshening up your apartment or making a really nice gift for someone, a gift that will stand out, it is really hard to beat 2 euros. Write me in the comments how it turned out for you.